swipe my butt crack. The butt crack? The butt crack. Oh, uh, like, y'all ain't get no warrant for that. <laughs> y'all ain't get no warrant. You may not be using my damn period shit. Yeah. guys it's your girl amber back again with another video and i have my two beautiful special guests trini shira we're back again what another video um this video wasn't highly requested but i just feel like it would just be really good for us and by that thumbnail and that title you already see we are about to be talking about femininity how to step into your womanly woman. womanhood yeah <laughs> we are well they're 25 i'll be 25 in december so, and I just feel like as you're getting older as a woman, these are the steps and tips and tricks that you may need. They can help you. They may not. You know, what we're saying, we're not telling you to do this. This is just what we do. It helps us. Yeah. Based so, on our experience. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So, to start it off, becoming more feminine, let's start off with your homegirl down there. Make sure she's smelling good at all times. Yeah. Love her. Some products. Give her love extra her. Love. Give her extra love. When she's taking um, beatings and <laughs> not the beatings, <laughs> not beatings. beating. When she's oh. um, getting when used. you're sexually active, when you are boom, sexually, that's be an adult. Boom. Right. When, when you're, you're sexually, sexually active, active right. you need to. If you're gonna be an adult, you need to be an adult all the way around. Go to the doctor, get pap smears, get checked out. If you smell a little, go get it checked out. That's an example of a responsible Responsible. Adult. And if yeah. you're in between partners, you need to make sure that all of them are getting tested and so are you. And if you can't ask to see what the paperwork is, you don't need to be doing with the, dealing with that partner. Don't just go off of what somebody tells you. Yeah, exactly. Niggas what they will tell you anything. And what about spur of the moments too? Because we know that happens. You need to have some protection. You, if you don't have a budget for a plan B, you can't do it. Honestly. That part right there. And one of my homegirls, she don't play. She keeps <laughs> condoms on her. Mm -hmm. So when niggas try to pull that, oh, I don't have one, she be like, I, got I do. What size you need? What <laughs> brand you want? Right. And well, you, like, oh, you, you, you need. allergic to such and such? Right. right. Oh, okay. I got, I got, I got sheep skin. skin. Yeah. I got water-based lube. Too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, she we keeps it. it on her. So. Be, yeah. Be an adult all the way around because you don't want to mess up and be messed up for life. Okay. Yeah. So some products that we use. With me personally, I use Honey Pot, Honey Pot, Sensitive, or I use Normal. It's blue or orange. Or I use a cucumber one. Some people can't use like um, scented flavors, whatever. The cucumber doesn't bother me, so I can use that. But some people, it says it dries them out. Like one of my cousins, she can't yeah, use cucumber. Yeah, I have cucumbers. very sensitive, very very sensitive skin. So yeah. for the sensitive skin people, just make sure you get something that's. A, a soap base but water based at the same time yeah and also with pull from fragrances and also those name brands too like vagisil summer's um, eve stop using summer's, summer's eve, eve. Ooh, <gasps> summer's eve i hate when i'm in target and i literally see somebody reach and, for the summer i'd be like sis you are in yourself yeah here. summer's eve is not the way i mean mm. even gynecologists have said you don't literally need, you don't don't I mean, I, they said honey pot is good. Like my dermat my um gy gynecologist said, like honey pot is good. It's actually a good, but it, the less ingredients, the better. But Just know that when you, and read the back of the warm product. water and soap. Not even, don't put soap inside. Don't warm water. And literally soap. warm water and clean hands. Do not even don't even use a towel for real because yeah. unless you're water using a different towel every single time. <laughs> Let the water just end up there. Yes. And when you're on, I know people, I've seen it on Twitter, when you are on your cycle, change your situation, your pads. Yeah. Don't you don't wear the same pad all day. You are like literally messing yourself up. Yeah. And also with them tampon people, you can literally go into toxic shock. You literally can die. I got one stuck in It's real. Oh wow. Yes. I would never use that, it again. <laughs> um, I try I tried to use it again because I was out of pads, but I'm just like, I don't 
like I don't like the feeling of something being stuck in me all day. Yeah, that's but it's very okay. much because okay. I feel like if I sneeze, it's just gonna fly out. You know. And make sure you're getting your flows right. Like know your flow. Yeah, no. If and if you choose to use a tampon, if it hurts when it goes in, it's too big. It's not supposed oh, to hurt. See, that's the thing with tampons too. You don't know the sizes. Yeah. So for me, I don't use honey pot. I used to, but the little nozzles on the bottle, like they just kept getting stuck, and I didn't like that. <laughs> And people were talking about it like for religious reason reasons like it's not that big of a deal to me but i found a different brand i feel like works for me love wellness from ulta where oh. they have the little um the probiotic gut pills too i, I use, use the, the probiotic yes. pills. so the blue the vitamins. blue one yes you so Take they have probiotic. a wash they have oh. a wash and i use their wash they also balancing. have more acid yes. suppositories. Yes. You so I use those and I don't use honey pot pads. I love them though, but I don't use them anymore. It's this black owned pad company. Um, they're called Jewel Pads or Rain I've never Pads. Heard of them. They also do the little cups too. Yes. Hmm. They that pad is so absorbent. Like it literally you know how like the blood kind of stays on mm -hmm. top of the pad it does not stay on top it, Ooh, it goes, goes under inside. it has seven layers of pure cotton use and, yeah. cotton that's yeah. another thing if you're going to use underwear cotton underwear, pads, cotton underwear. baby that's serious. You, your coochie need to you breathe. literally can get a yeast infection from wearing the wrong underwear i had to learn i know y'all like wearing them skims and stuff but that shit is not cotton it's polyester and, and i show sure size yeah and yeah. i was like the pink panties girl like as I much only as I love it, could still be a pink panty girl, but choose wisely. Like, pink doesn't all, doesn't necessarily have all cotton. Victoria's yeah. Secret has cotton, but the store pink, they none of. I won't say none of them, from my knowledge. And also, like, okay, how do y'all feel about the period panties? No. Oh no. Yes. I don't no. think that that's a good idea. Please what, don't do that. So, I've never used it, but who was giving birth? Now those those like pull up like diapers they give you after birth. I honestly would recommend those and not the big big large pads because you never know and you want to be comfy and yeah. sometimes you so for the new mothers or you know. Honey Pot actually has a postpartum pad. Mm -hmm. I see. I've nice. never used it's, it. Obviously. That we need but full coverage. So make sure from the rooter to the to the rooter to the for real that part. That <laughs> rooter to the cooter. That's yeah. the first for me. I ain't yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, so boric acid suppositories, honey pot, or what she said. Also, ladies, use wipes. I know. Just think about it. When you have a baby, what do you wipe your baby with? Wipes. Do they use tissue? No. Do you know why <laughs> that they don't use tissue? Because no. it's <laughs> tissue was not meant for that area. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't cleanse you. You could use it to dry. I have yeah, wipes to dry it, but go on with some cotton nail wipes. Um, down there wipes. Um, the good wipes. The good wipes. I like those, but they are scented, so be careful. Yeah. I just like how big they are, and they do smell good. I mean, the, the ones that I use, they're um like down there scented. wipes, and it's not scented. Well, they have rose water, but that doesn't bother me though. So, it's know your body. You and then for okay, because I have a lot of I have babies in my house, so I got a, just a supply of baby wipes. They're not good for you down there especially the ladies they're not yeah, good for not you the down baby there. Wipes. don't use it on your boom boom don't use it well, on your butt. About the behind your yeah your, your, your buttocks your that's only for your behind do not you? use it on your your vagina that yeah, there's no. still even the aqua even if it says your water it's, it's not pure still water. not for your vagina you really should be putting nothing there but if you feel like you need to get in the shower but honestly, honestly see I'm in the shower. No, for real. Get in the shower. <laughs> what I do is when it's that time of the month and um, I'm out, I also don't like using outside tissue. Like, say if we're at a restaurant, yeah. or so I don't like to use the tissue oh, there. Oh, yeah. Because you don't know how they handle it. You don't I have, have to, to use paper towels. Like, literally, I'll, grab, I'll go to the bathroom and get a bunch of paper towels Even and wet them. Even I just don't. I, yeah. I'm, I'd rather just have my own little cotton nail wipes. Like, cotton nail wipes work for me. They have, like, the little ones. Go to the travel section in Target. They're, like, 99 cent or 109 or something like that. And just put them in your purse and keep them like on you. Keep, keep them in your car. Size wipe because then you yeah. won't have to you but never know when you got to shit. If you're ever in a situation <laughs> where you don't have that, I wouldn't rely on the little tissue unless you plan on getting in the shower as soon as you yeah. get Yeah, right, right, right. Like right. seriously, like that's serious. That booty, that booty crumb is not. <laughs> we not don't like, like booty crumbs. <laughs> and your man or your woman not gonna want to smell no booty crumbs. Okay, like and also another tip. That I do. I got this from McKenna. Um, if y'all walk her, McKenna Walker, yes, yeah, subscribe to her channel. I get me like a little cotton round and I get some witch hazel and I swipe my butt crack. 
the butt crack the butt crack the top J just the butt not the front area honestly don't put nothing in your front area honestly Stop, you should not be putting stuff right there you it's a it's like a whole little system down there. literally it, but the, it does its own job it don't need your damn help like it that. literally cleans itself <laughs> So stop putting things in there like perfect. I see people like spraying perfume. I don't no, I, I literally Why? No, I really want to talk about like in gym class. I remember in middle school this girl every time we would be getting dressed and you know Ain't nobody looking at you, but you know we we know we this see. is what you're doing Because yeah. you next to me in it. So I see this bitch every time she get dressed for going out. We were sweating all day I mean mile runs. Ugh, I remember the mile and runs. then she would and then down here. I'm like, wait, I don't see the the spray anymore. Where is it, <laughs> bitch? Down in her pants. Nah, I don't Do you see know? The spray I remember because I also had this girl. If if I had this girl for school, she she knows who she is if she remembered it, but it was years ago. <laughs> um, she literally like had a situation where she had all sorts of redness. Don't put alcohol down there on your thigh, like uh, even if it's not directly towards your vagina you should not be putting shit down there at all especially spray body spray fucking ch japanese cherry blossom oh, oh i hate that scent oh my god if you're gonna put some spray on <laughs> spray your scent. clothes and then you know spray here your neck that's it even directly to your body like i have sensitive skin so anything that touches my shit mm. It's bad. It's yeah. really, really bad. Like, so just know your, learn to know your. Go body. to the doctor. Yeah, go to the doctor. No, seriously, Literally. they really, they, they get the money for the, re they, they have the practices that and stuff. That part. Like, they really studied for that. They studied it for years. So they are the person to ask. Like, <laughs> yes. So that is not Google. Don't go. Not don't flow, Google the Flow app either. Not the Flow oh. app. I know we think that we know so much with the Flow app. We do. Oh, they <laughs> You be thinking he be knowing everything. I'm not paying for that. I'm not paying for that. Just so you can give me some more information. Right. And also, also with Roe versus Wade going on, and I don't know what country state y'all may be living in. If you are in, putting in all your information on those period trackers, the government is tracking you. So if you do try to get an abortion, they will know when your period was like. Know your stuff. Oh wow! Know so your they can stuff. use your yes. period stuff. For it was. Uh -uh, y'all ain't get a warrant for that. <laughs> You better not be using my damn period shit. I know. I have yeah, stay out of my vagina. Really? Yeah. I use flow. I, I, I don't like make flow. flow. I like flow. Flow is one of them that they said that they use. Yeah, they do use flow. Flow has been there for me since my first Eve. child. This Wait a minute. Eve. So I'm about to go download Eve. Eve. Yeah, let me it tells you when you're fertile. It tells you your baby. It tells you. Let me tell you one I of the. Hel oh, yeah. no, the Wait a minute. No, don't. Look, like, I had the little generic little period tracker. <laughs> no, baby. Look, this Wait. is the questions that they ask. They ask, did you get some? Was it with the condom, without no, banana fruit? No but it helps you go. Eve. This is new. It helps you for when oh, yeah. you know. Are you down for it? Look at the little panties in my ear. They got the little granny panties. It's really helpful, you guys. So if you ever feel like you're like, Ooh, yeah, you're really like, oh my gosh, where's my period? Calendar. Check your Eve app. It will, I'm telling, and it also, be on it. Also, it be telling me what my period is going. Know be. your discharge. Like know your vagina. Know, know what's regular. Yes. Like get to know. Get to know that. Like really seriously test it. You, Take some you clean think fingers. Right there. Go down there and smell it. If it smells a little off. You would rather you smell yourself and be off than a man come to you and be like, ooh, that ain't Like, you don't want that. Yeah, we don't want no niggas come talking about your food. Mm, that's, like, very, very, that's very embarrassing. That's very embarrassing. Even is the best app to use. This is not even a sponsored video, but if you want to, email is in the description box down below. I'll do a promo TikTok for y'all, too. It's great. Okay, so um, I covered the butt crack. Really like I covered I like the suppositories. Um, the suppositories are really easy to put in. They, it comes like with a little thing. I, I just use, use my one. clean fingers. Put it right up in you area. Oh, boric acid. acid suppository. I have used one before. They say you're supposed to use it for six days, but I don't. I just use it like right after my um, monthly cycle. And you know, after my monthly cycle, my doctor. Well, maybe because it was my doctor know me, but mm -hmm. th they were just telling me to make sure you take all your vitamins and re make sure. Your start should be like after your period. Like, I don't know. I was talking to my doctor, and she she's the one that actually recommended um, suppository. suppository. My cousin was telling me about it, but I was like, I don't know. What the fuck. I'm putting it in me. Like, yeah. I didn't know nothing about so that. So, what does it do? It just takes all the everything out that needs to be out, 
and you put like it, even if because i know some people sleep with no underwear or just sleep naked mm -hmm. put a towel down because you will literally see everything come out oh wow yeah okay uh so I'm like a I'm so liner, scared about trying cream. everything because my skin is so sensitive. I really don't be trying and testing. But it doesn't anything. necessarily touch your skin though. Like it won't it even goes touch your, your lips because it literally. Okay, say this is the vagina, right? It, you literally it comes with an applicator, or you can use your hand. I use my hand because it's easier. Yeah. My nail actually to get it up in there, and then you just you do. It's like. <laughs> it's Why am I looking though? Like, <laughs> get that, like get it's, that, the it's like a. Or, it's like a um like a beauty blender you know how it's kind of shaped like like this mm. it's literally shaped like that but it's white and you just peel it a little back and you pop it right up in there oh and you sleep with it and then like when yeah. you wake up in the morning it's like try not to pee after putting yeah, it you in cannot you pee cannot pee really? you, you have and to you put cannot it in right before have you go to bed. sexual intercourse do not have sex after that it's the whole thing i only it used is. it once and that's because i really needed it at the time like i had a bad um like ph balance mm -hmm. So I needed it at the time. But. It, it's no shame in bad pH. Is the, that's it's natural normal. and normal. Yes. And honestly, that's your body telling you. Also, yeast you infections you aren't, it's not normal to keep having them, but they're normal. They're normal. They're a part of I the got them. Experience. You know, they're normal during pregnancy. Every yeast yeah. infection I've had was during my pregnancy. I had two during one pregnancy. It was scary. And it, it's not pleasant, I know. And it's not. Come, you not don't be comfortable saying it all the time, but mm -hmm. it's it's very real and it's what women go through. And if you can't have these type of conversations with the partner that you're doing it with, you don't need to be with that partner. Honestly, yeah. So if, if someone is making fun, you got a yeast infection. Yes, from you. Yeah, because then my and they throw you off. Ladies who claim they allergic to condoms, or they they partners who say they allergic to condoms, and y'all do that raw stuff. Okay, you do the raw stuff. Y'all do but, that raw. But Whatever is on that man is on you. Inside Whatever of you. And that can cause B, bad BV. BV, B, all, all that. of that. And BV is real. Some women don't even know they have B, BV or vagitosis, whatever. Yeah. Vagitosis. <laughs> I feel like this is like the vagina video. It is. Okay. Let's make this is a video about your vagina. Okay. Feminine energy. That's where the right. source is. Okay, That's so, why we started there. But we don't right. have to. Mm, we'll go we're gonna go to the next time <laughs> another part about being feminine is get your hair done do your nails get your feet done don't nobody no no man want to be in the bed with no rusty dusty crusty feet ass woman and why do you want to have it right. it's, it's, <laughs> it's really based on you because right. we don't even care about these things right. get you about some to say that. Right. Right. do it for you do like, it for you not even for a man like i I just said that maybe because I have a man, but like, do it for you. Yeah, like you should want to. To me personally, you should want to look your best at all times. At all times. That's right. why when girls be like, I hate those girls that be like, I don't wear makeup, I don't need makeup. You can't do it. And no one's course, saying we need it. We why like you it. don't need it? But like, if you have the option to look your best, do why it. wouldn't you right. want to do like, that? Why would you not want to look like, your best? Just. I don't know. Like when my hair is not done, I feel I like a booger wolf. Like, I, I, not a booger wolf. If anybody has mm -hmm. seen Jennifer's body, I feel like Jennifer when <laughs> she does not, when you don't like do anything. Even not even makeup, but just skincare. Yeah, yes. wash your damn face. Have your nails done, y'all. Nail check. Yes, nail cam. But that's, that's important. Like you should just want to look presentable at all times. Like yes, you should yes. want to look your best. Don't be being yeah. bummy and 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 just just. Ugh. And you you'll have your bummy days. Like when yeah, you're at fine. home not doing nothing. Like you don't gotta look like Beyonce all the time. All the time. But when you Beyonce step out, out, right? When you step out, step out and step up. Yeah. Have step your hair. Out, hair up. and nails is like automatic, especially feet. your feet. Baby. If you, if you, oh, if you, don't nobody, if you only had the option to get your hands or your feet done, go for feet. the feet. Pick your feet. Feet are really, really, really important. My little back, the little back, my heels. It, it them heels. Y'all yeah. really got to get them and get you a little thing to brush us. Yeah, a little, little, little shower. pumice scrub. Yeah, get you, get in the shower, get mm -hmm. you a little pumice scrub, get you the little tree hut, Tahitian vanilla. Yes. Get you a shiver scrub. I love or the yes. chocolate glow one smells yes. good. Oh, yeah, those are too, yeah. oh yes. there's so many things. Yes. Wait, is that still Tree Hut? Mm -hmm. Tree Hut is a really good beer. Tree Hut is the moisturizing shave oil. I, I had the Tahitian vanilla bean. Bomb. Yeah. Bomb. 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 So yeah, always make sure you look good. You like when you smell look good, good, you feel good. Yeah. You really do feel good. Like y'all know if you if you don't know what a shower is, you need to click off this fucking. Honestly, <laughs> 
shower. Click but on this video. Y'all know the how it feels when you get out the shower and you just got a fresh ass just <laughs> out. It feels and don't amazing. Be, don't right? just use body washes. Get you some Dove bar soap. Original scent and just get clean first. Like start with the base. Cause I be watching these little girlies on YouTube and they do like the little shower routines. And it's just everything is smell good. Like what about the actual soap to cleanse your body? I mean, I, I don't know like, how a shower routine video goes. Like I mean, I I, I posted it. one, but mm. but anyway, go check out that video. It'll be right here. I don't think I saw that one. Okay, you did this. Just, you didn't I, show I, nothing. I didn't really, show nothing. Yeah. I mean, you can't. You know. I know. Yeah, you know I mean, literally, you can get flagged. So that's why I'm like, I don't do Some people videos. do it like with bathing suits on. Yeah. And then why? they shower after. Just to show shower. you like oh. what they're using and stuff like. It's a little weird, but <laughs> yes, yeah, start off with the YouTube base is a lot. Evolving. Or you know what, Dr. Bronner's has a really good. Um, oh yes, I love me. A Dr. I love Bronner's. anything Dr. Fucking Brown. <laughs> Honestly, just make sure that you are clean. Like yeah, start off with the base, and then you go on with your little Victoria's Secret Bath and Body Works, all that. Also, bath bombs—they're not good for you. They will throw off your pH balance. Ooh, yeah. If you're gonna take Ooh, a bath, take make sure like you that. take a take shower baths. first. Like and that. then you get in a bathtub. Ooh, take bath. Don't be, be taking a, spider, a bath and then just being like, you done? I don't take yeah. baths. I mean, if I take baths, it's, it, I don't know. I, it just feels weird. Like, if it's less people taking the bath, I'll take it. But using that bathtub, I'll take it. But yeah, I don't to know. sit in something that someone else has been in is a lot. So, um, even right after you clean, I don't know. If you hear loud noise, I'm so sorry. I have ghetto ass neighbors. So. They doing it up. Mm -hmm. They doing it up. Are too. they all? Out? They they are right. Oh, are they, they are right. Okay, let's fight. Let's they are, I mean, at the window. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Um, what's next? What's next? What's next? So. Also, becoming more feminine to me. These are my little notes. I put um, learning how to listen to understand and not listen to respond. Because as I, I know for me personally, that's why I put that. I'll be, I'm, I'm a little combative and I be ready to just like, you know, I'll be ready. Like all the, like, <laughs> I'm so TTG like all the time. And sometimes I'll be having arguments and it's like, dang, like if had I just let him finish talking, I would have heard everything he had to say and we wouldn't be arguing, you know? So that's be a little bit more feminine and let the man just be a man. You know? I mean, does that make sense? I mean, it makes I don't sense think in my it head. Has anything to do really with femininity? I think it's just like in an argument, like you guys both in an argument. That's what it is. Both people have are different views. Mm. So in order for yours to be heard by the other person, just first listen to them. Listen, and then although what you may be upset because sometimes when you're argument, it's also emotion in it too. So you're yes. very upset. You're either upset, angry, so try to control it. And it's very yeah. hard, because I, I I deal with it a lot. Especially if you, day. With, mm -hmm. if you have a significant other, too. It's very difficult. It's just me. Because when you live living with me. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, for me personally, I think that will help me. Because sometimes, I, I even get told, like, by my parents sometimes that I'm, like, a little, like, aggressive when it comes to my relationship. And I need to, like, tone it down a little bit. But it's just like I wouldn't I don't I don't see that. But maybe I'm gonna try it. Maybe so I you am feel like being like less aggressive, basically. Yes. But do you think that's really what you are is aggressive? Like I'm feminine? aggressive. Like you feel like I'm not aggressive in my friendship, I'm aggressive. Nope, it's good. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, stop recording because we were are talking we a lot. Going to Ulta or are you going to yeah, we're going to Ulta. Okay, sorry. So, um, I think that I think that I'm like uh, we were talking about aggression when the you know camera decides to be rude. Um, I'm aggressive in my relationship because I'm I don't mean to be aggressive, but I just I don't like stupidity and I do not like <laughs> ignorance. It really grinds my gears. Well, how they know it's ignorance and stupidity? Because yours. like why you just don't know that? But that's my problem. That's my problem. I need to calm the fuck down. Mm. Look at me now. I'm hyped up. It, it, it's, <laughs> I feel like it's you don't think that's a part of emotion. Feminine? But as women, we are more emotional than men. And so you mean like controlling your emotions? Yeah, control. yes. yes. self-control. Yes. It really that's is all right. about self-control in it. <sighs> that's what controlling I your about. emotions takes it's very hard. I mean years. Like years. <laughs> No, I mean, I feel like I error. just got to a I'm going to take a drink today. Trinise is really good at that. I I, it took me a long time. And prayer. It amazing. takes prayer. prayer. Like, you have to really 
like i don't even know it it takes a lot of work though like you know what helped me you remember that boy from uni i think he did peer mediation all the time and he Ooh. always used to be like okay y'all let's assess the situation cool yes oh my gosh Cole. yes i do so remember every time he used to always that. say that okay y'all let's assess the situation like you have to assess yeah you have and to then really assess think, again yes <laughs> and like you have to really think okay what could i have done differently in this situation or how can I talk to this person in a way that they will receive it so that they will not take offense to what I'm saying, but also like try to understand me. Like you have to be able to see things from different perspectives. It's, it takes a lot. It's a lot. And one thing my mom always tells me, I mean, she's told me this since I was little. You can only control you. Exactly. You only got exactly. one. Thing. You self control because you're only responsible for you when for you gonna you. only have to answer for you. Right. That part. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That part. So, so keep that in mind. Like, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Because I'm the only one responsible for me exactly. right now. Exactly. Yeah. Like, especially with dealing with these dudes because. Woo! they will only continue <laughs> to put you through what you allow, allow them to come on yeah. and so that's when you take into account controlling your emotions because this man could cheat on you and you could expend your energy cussing him out slashing his tires beating his mama up or you could just simply <laughs> choose <laughs> I'm just saying that's how it be so like you could do all of that or you could be like you know what I'm stepping away from this for the sake of my own health that's literally you teach me it and then it's okay when it happens because literally coming to see my friends today I was having an anxiety attack and what I Trini she said really said stuck out you did because you had I was like you were like here talk to Trini <laughs> I'm like that no you didn't know and it was okay i was really still freaking out then but <laughs> no literally she said like you know you gotta control that because it really is a spirit that's yeah. over you and i'm like damn i never looked at it like that like sometimes get in touch with your spirituality yes. talk, to yes. talk to god talk to god talk to and then come <laughs> understand yourself talk to god and let Seriously. me let me add this since we're on that topic mm -hmm. Talking to God as a man or a woman is so important because God created man and God created woman. Come on. So if you are trying to tap into your femininity, you need to be connected to the source who created mm. you. Come on. Sorry, I'm not trying to be preaching. Woo! Stuff. No, y'all need this. Sarah Jakes and all that. But I'm just saying. Like, Girl, get up. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, get up. <laughs> No, for real, like for real. You want to tap into the the woman that you were created to be, the woman that you were purposed to be. You that gotta God talk to the, you to be. Talk yes. to the one who made you. Come on. And prayer is just a conversation with God. Be like, hey, God, it's me. I, I, this is what I need. You don't have to be like Mary Joseph Lamb, all the. Right. You don't gotta do all Dear that. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you right now. As yeah. humble as I know how I'm coming. Right. Oh, 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 those formalities aren't necessary. It's, it's not. Word. You literally could be like, God, this nigga really got me messed up. Literally. And he will, he will understand. Yeah, God knows you. He created you. Right. He knows know who you are. He knows you crazy. Or be like, God, I'm really feeling insecure about this part of my body. Or I'm feeling insecure about this within myself. And he will understand. Come like, on. And why are we on the topic about who to talk to? Find really, really good understanding friends. Go it's there, very people. serious. That too. Exhibit on me Thumbnail. through thick and thin. A friendship that will never end. When you are weak, I will be strong. Helping you to carry on. Count on me, I will be there. Don't be afraid. Please believe me when I say. understand you know you Ooh. it's it's very hard and it's, it is. It's, it's for me it's them and Bronx. <laughs> like no, you don't have to have me. a whole bunch you don't have to have like 50 friends like you need no. a good and that was my friends. problem i wanted to be liked so mm -hmm. bad 
I am gonna recommend you guys listen to this song if you're feeling how I was feeling. Um, by Adele. It's called I Drink Wine. Baby. I've never heard that song. Listen to it. This girl really. Literally, because she <laughs> is just. <laughs> no, but Adele, and she yeah. speaks to me in that song because I I just wanted to be that person who wanted to have a friends and I'm like why they don't like me like what am I doing that she's not doing mm -hmm. and why is she cooler than me and da da da. Baby, chill out. Yeah. It is not that deep. You'll attract the people who are meant to Thank be you. in your life. Period. Thank yeah, you. and if they meant to be, even if y'all y'all don't talk as often, it's gonna feel like y'all y'all start y'all continuing as yeah. soon as y'all meet again. That part. Literally, that was us. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah it really from your book to this. Yeah. No, seriously, like a little background with us. Like we were very very close towards the last senior year of high school. Mm -hmm. We got close, and then. You know, life happened, we grew, we went to college, yeah. we got jobs, we started, you know, our lives. Yeah. And so then somewhere down the road, we found ourselves, we found each other again. Right, and I needed them. No. Sure. I needed them too. They came at the perfect time. No. I, yes. Like, yeah, I had just had my children. Literally. Literally. Just had my children. We were going through Woo. the ups and downs. It was, it was a lot. When we got close, you found out you were pregnant with Koi. That's crazy. Crazy. When, yeah, like when it really, really, we got close, close. I was yeah. pregnant. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, do you guys have any other tips? You know, we can do a part two. We can. We can do. We gonna do a part two. This video low. We already second video seven Whoa. minutes. So yeah, we'll do a part two. We'll yeah. Part so two. like, comment, and subscribe. We'll do a part two if this video gets at least fifty likes. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Their Instagram will always be in the description box down below. Also, don't forget to stream Intimacy on all streaming platforms. Um, music that. video is out, so out, that link yeah. will be in the music video is out. Bomb as hell. Bomb, period. Follow our TikToks, Instagrams, all that will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in for the next video. Bye. 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 Yes, that, that was, was good. good. That was